reports of postponement were news to him and that he'd not been officially informed of any such decision by Nigeria's independent electoral commission. The news is going around that it has well, been Well, news is going around, but I'm telling you what I know that should be practically on the ground. Would you support a postponement? No, I will not support it. What could happen if there is a postponement? Would it not be to your political advantage, sir? No, I don't think so. It took INEC one year to work out and give the state. I see, I see no reason why we should postpone it. There are 14 local governments that there is problem. Ten in Borno, two in Yobe, two in Adama, and there are 770 for local government in Nigeria. Should we postpone election because of 14 local governments? What would you do about it if they did postpone it? Well, what, what my party will do, mostly to do the party's decision, not mine. Thank you very much. The election, sorry, about Boko Haram, the election commission says Boko Haram is the main reason they're doing this. Afghanistan and Nigeria were fighting wars and conducting elections. What is Boko Haram? Well, for all the general's tough talk, Boko Haram's murderous rampage continues unchecked. The six-year-long jihadi insurgency has claimed up to 18,000 lives and displaced one and a half million people, and they've taken a huge chunk of territory. The uh, people have not been fair to me, and I think uh, the issue of uh, rescheduling elections, I wouldn't want to say change of date for election. For the uh, international community, I sympathize with them. Because uh, in Africa, there are cases, the number of cases, uh, I've been a leader in Africa for quite some time now, I've been handling such cases, where governments reschedule elections to extend tenure. Uh, so whenever you talk about rescheduling elections, they, they are a bit apprehensive that uh, is there any attempt for the sitting president to extend his tenure. Mm -hmm. But this is not the case in Nigeria. In Nigeria, the law makes it very clear that uh, there's a range of time elections could be conducted, not less than 30 days to the inauguration of the new government, and not more than 150 days to the inauguration of the government. Within this period, election could be conducted so that it does not affect the inauguration of the new government. But within that period, if there are issues that, could, uh, that will require the electoral body to adjust the dates, it's not uh, they can always adjust. You, you recall that in 2011, the first election, I was already in my village in Bayelsa State. Mm -hmm. the, the eve of that election, I was already had traveled to the, my village before I was told that uh, the INEC have announced suspension of the election by two weeks, and I came back. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> INEC did not discuss with me. I don't decide. I don't decide date for elections, but INEC work with security services because they must provide uh, protection. The security services help to carry their materials, like the Air Force help to carry their materials, and the Navy help to carry their materials. And of course, mainly they have to uh, protect the staff of INEC, of course, ensure peace and security in the country. And uh, you also remember that in 2011, when nobody even expected any crisis, 10 young people were just slaughtered. Uh, so there are a lot of security implications in conducting elections in Africa generally. So if the security services but they did not consult me anyway. If they should tell INEC, probably for one reason or the other, they should re uh, just within this period. Ordinarily for me, it's supposed not to be an issue, but uh, this is a period where we make everything, make it look... There you had the president. Uh, quite surprised, uh, quite surprising, I should say, uh, saying he actually was not consulted, that the security chiefs did not consult him and that, you know, he, let me just add to what he said there, that besides the issue of security, there was also the problem with uh, the permanent voters' cards. What are your thoughts? If anybody had been following our reporting on the issues of elections, I uh, would have known that we made it, in fact, one of our duties to reveal plots along the line uh, that President Jonathan did not want to leave and did not want to hold elections. Uh, I think one of our stories in March, almost immediately after he became president in 2011, where he had met with Pastor Bakar in Kaudumake, who now works with him, uh, to uh, give them a $100,000 bribe. And what, one of the things he said at that time is like, why are we doing an election? I want a six-year time. And so I can leave this place. I would have done eight years. I'm done. Uh, 
and we've been following ever since as of october last year we also wrote a story saying that there are no plans for elections that president jonathan doesn't want to hold election and we have been writing consistently uh two weeks before the election that these are the plans before and after the nsa went to london and set off quotes to a person who asked him a question that or well, they had advised INEC, INEC to postpone. INEC responded immediately that they got no advice uh, from the NSA. And all of this led to one thing or the other, and eventually they went to the Council of State meeting. It was at the Council of State meeting that the NSA and the service chiefs was handing INEC a letter, you know, a security report saying they are not ready for elections. So, uh, with due respect uh, to the president's office, uh, I think the president is lying, uh, but he has not lied very intelligently, in my view. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been open that he's lying. You know, uh, everybody knows that the NSA couldn't have said what he said in London without asking the president first. And if he didn't do that before he went to London, when he came back, the first thing the president would have called him is to say, "Why are you? Where did you get the idea of this yeah. woman?" Where's the letter? So consultations must have happened, specifically because the president also claims uh, during this uh, media, chat. media chat that he gets a security briefing every hour. Ah, so that's true. That means somebody is not doing his job very well. Uh, but the truth is that they have no plans for election. And you could see there are people and voices in this country who speak and you know they are talking on behalf of the president. People like Edwin Clark, Clark. and the rest of them, including... Uh, who have said openly that they are not interested in election. They want a government of uh, national unity, and uh, they want the president to implement the, the results of uh, the national conference he organized. And they have been attacking INEC ever since the postponement. Yeah, of course. And Clark like actually calling for the resignation, the resignation and of Jagger. You know, uh, people like the governor of Hondo State, uh, Olusha Gumimiko. So you know all these characters, when they converge around an issue, they are speaking on behalf of the president. Uh, except if the president is living in La La Land.